Tweak Town's GDC 2016 coverage is brought to you by NVIDIA. Earlier this year at the Consumer Electronics Show, NVIDIA showed off Everest VR. Everest VR was based on the HTC Vive and set you on top of the real-life mountain Everest. It was developed by a company called Sulphur, who are made up of three veteran developers from CCP Games, the developers behind EVE Online. The company worked with RVX, the visual effects and animation studio who worked on Gravity and the Everest movie itself in order to bring the Everest VR experience to life. The first time that we tested it at CES, it didn't have any of the physics elements added to it, but it still looked great. This year at GDC, NVIDIA added physics. Now with physics, the snow is unlike anything that you've seen before, providing a true sense of presence in Everest. Seeing the snow gather and flow in front of me or above me, depending on where I was looking, created another sense of presence that I hadn't experienced before. Presence is something that the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive need to give you a sense of presence in the game or in the experience. In this case, you're on the top of the tallest mountain in the world in a virtual reality environment where you actually feel fear, you feel vertigo. The mountain also looks amazing because it was captured with 300,000 high resolution photos taken of the mountain and it was powered by NVIDIA GeForce GPUs as well as the 3D model of the mountain being created with NVIDIA GeForce GPUs. The snow effects using PhysX created another level of immersion. Seeing the snow being able to gather in front of us, going to big groups and float around like it does in real life, it really does add that layer that I was talking about of immersion and presence. And these two things in a virtual reality world are more important than everything else, more important than the sound sometimes and even the graphics. The immersion that was created by just a little bit of snow it sounds like it's over the top, but it truly was something that added to the experience. Physics is something that I would love to see in more games, especially in virtual reality, because I feel like instead of virtual reality showing you something that you're used to in a normal game, with physics, the real life physics of the world translate more onto a VR world than they do onto a 2D screen. And it was a really, really good step to see NVIDIA take with physics being in, in Everest VR for snow. Such a small thing, but it really added to the entire experience. I said to NVIDIA at the end that I can't wait to be able to walk through the snow with physics. Imagine being able to walk through the snow and look behind you and see your footsteps and being able to know that they were your physical footsteps in not only the VR world, but the real world that you've taken. NVIDIA really blew us away with this little change to the Everest VR demo, and we can't wait to see what the real version is going to be like.